How's it going, people? This is a great soundtrack. And um, I'm probably in big trouble for showing you this. So don't buy this. I would recommend you to buy it, but that seems to piss people off, me promoting someone else's shit. Because they own it, damn it. And if I'm playing it in the background, I'm a freaking thief. I guess. I wonder if I owe these people anything for drinking their beer on a video and then broadcasting it for free. And this is my last one of these. Uh, but I got a couple of, uh, I guess I owe these people money too. Just in case I need another. It's a slightly thirsty chapter ahead of us. All right, chapter 57 of the Book of Alma. Helaman's epistle continued, and it will continue for another chapter. He's still talking. Antipara, wait, Antipara retaken. City of Kumni surrenders. Lamanites driven to Manti, a miraculous preservation. We're about ready for a decent miracle. Escape of Lamanite prisoners again? Oh well, I'm sure they killed most of them. As a matter of fact, I know they did. I read this uh, uh, a year before I started doing these videos. Through. That's when I got the idea. One, and now, it came to pass. Mm. You get that, yeah, that oaken barrel taste. Like a good scotch was stored in there for about 12 years, and then they poured some fresh ale in there. I guess. That's my guess. And now it came to pass that I received an epistle from Amaron. This is still Helaman going on and on and on tomorrow night in an epistle. Uh, yeah, an epistle from Amaron the king stating that if I would deliver up those prisoners of war whom we had taken, that he would deliver up the city of Antipera unto us. Two. But I sent a, an epistle unto the king that we were sure our forces were sufficient to take the city of Antipera by force. And by delivering up the prisoners for that city, we should suppose ourselves unwise. Writing this epistle is unwise. Don't tell him your intentions. Let him eat silence. And then do what you're going to do. What the fuck? And that we would only deliver up our prisoners on exchange. Like previously stated. Three or more for one. Three. And Amaron refused mine epistle. For he would not exchange prisoners. Therefore, we began to make preparations to go against the city of Antipera. Now that you warned them. Four! But the people of Antipera did leave the city and flee to those other cities, which they had possession of, to fortify them, and thus the city of Antipera fell into our hands. Five. And thus ended the twenty and eighth year of the reign of the judges. X. 
Yeah, it can to pass. That, in the commencement of the 29th year, all right, let me follow those asterisks, B.C. 63, and they stopped saying about. <laughs> they were saying, uh, about? Now they're saying it, like, with authority, which means you got to believe them. It's all about charisma, you know. <laughs> we received a... Yeah, in the 29th year, we received a supply of provisions and also an addition to our army reinforcements, right? For the land of... From the land of Zarehemla and from the land round about to the number of 6,000 men, besides 60 of the sons of the Ammonites, who had come to join their brethren, my little band of 2,000. And now, behold, we were strong, yay! And we had also a plenty of provisions brought unto us. Seven, and it came to pass mm. that it was our desire to wage a battle with the army which was placed to protect the city of Kunai. Eight, and now behold. I will show unto you that we soon accomplished our desire. Yea, with our strong force, or with a part of our strong force, we did surround by night the city of Kunai, a little before they were to receive a supply of provisions. Nine, and it came to pass, That, that we did camp round about the city for many nights. And we did sleep upon our swords. And keep guards that the Lamanites could not come upon us by night and slay us, which they attempted many times. But as many times as they attempted this, their blood was spilt. Ten. At length, their provisions did arrive. And they were about to enter the city by night. And we, instead of being Lamanites, were Nephites. Therefore, we did take them and their provisions. Eleven. And, notwithstanding... The Lamanites being cut off from their support after this manner, they were still determined to maintain the city. Therefore, it became expedient that we should take those provisions and send them to Judea, not across the ocean, right here in the USA, before it was America. And are prisoners to the land of Zarahimla, which could be, I don't know, in Panama, Panama, I don't know. Really could use a decent map. Not, not this wallpaper shit. <laughs> Twelve, and it came to pass. And it came to pass that not many days had passed away before the Lamanites 
began to lose all hopes of succor. Therefore, they yielded up the city unto our hands, and thus we had accomplished our designs in obtaining the city Kumnai. Thirteen. And, but it came to pass. <clears throat> that our prisoners were so numerous that notwithstanding the enormity of our numbers, we were obliged to employ all our force to keep them and to put the, or to put them to death. 14. For behold, they would break out in great numbers and would fight with stones and with clubs or whatsoever thing they could get into their hands, insomuch that they did slay upwards of two thousand of them after they had surrendered themselves prisoners of war. You know, can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs, right? Fifteen. Therefore, it became expedient for us that we should put an end to their lives or guard them. Suddenly that or makes sense. <laughs> that choice. They use too much. And if to know, it doesn't make any sense. Of course, none of this does. I lost my place, sorry. Um, therefore, it became expedient for us that we should put an end to their lives or guard them, sword in hand, down to the land of Zarahemla. <coughs> and also, our provisions were not any more sufficient than sufficient for our own people, notwithstanding that which we had taken from the Lamanites. I mean, yeah, didn't they just get a nice uh, shot in the arm there? <laughs> they were supposed to. They had supplies. You took them. Yeah, notwithstanding that. <laughs> Prisoners don't get none of that. Down to the land of... Oh, yeah. It's, uh, oh, yeah. Sixteen! Sorry. Sixteen. And now... In those critical circumstances, it became a very, very serious matter to determine concerning these prisoners of war. Nevertheless, we did resolve to send them down to the land of Zarahimla to be their problem. <laughs> Therefore, we selected a part of our men and gave them charge over our provisions to go down to the land of Zarahimla. They're just so fucking noble, aren't they? They're saints. Oh, we, it would make sense to kill these guys, but we're just too good. Seventeen. Excuse me. Simpler times, don't you wish? It doesn't work, wishing. Or that other thing, what is it? Oh yeah, praying. But, it came to pass in verse 17. Ah, that... On the morrow, they did return. <laughs> and now, behold, we did not inquire of them concerning the prisoners. For behold, the Lamanites were upon us, and they returned in season to save us from falling into their hands. For behold, Ammon had sent to their support a new supply of provisions, and also a numerous army of men. Eighteen. And it came to pass. Mm. I 
like the way simpler times taste. That those men whom we had sent with the prisoners did arrive in season to check them as they were about to overpower us. 19. But, behold, our my little band of 2,060 fought most desperately. Yea, they were firm before the Lamanites and did administer death <coughs> upon all those who opposed them. 20. And as the remainder of our army were about to give away before the Lamanites, behold, those 2,060 were firm and undaunted. 21. Yea, and they did obey and observe to perform every word of command with exactness, yea, and even according to their faith it was done unto them. And I did remember the words which they said unto me that their mothers had taught them. 22. And now, behold, it was these my sons and those men who had been selected to convey the prisoners to whom we owe this great victory. For it was they who did beat the Lamanites. Therefore they were driven back to the city of Manti. 23. And we returned, and we retained our city Kumni, and were not all destroyed by the sword. Nevertheless, we have suffered great loss. 24. <sighs> and it came to pass. <sighs> that, after the Lamanites had fled, I immediately gave orders that my men, who had been wounded, should be taken from among the dead, and caused that their wounds should be dressed. 25. And it came to pass. That, after the Lamanites had fled, I immediately... Oops, 25. And it came to pass that there were 200 out of my 2,060 who had fainted because of the loss of the blood. Nevertheless, according to the goodness of God, and to our great astonishment, and also the foes of our whole army, there was not one soul of them who did perish. Yay! Okay. And neither was one soul among them who had not received many wounds. 26. And now, their preservation was astonishing to our whole army. Yea, that they should be spared while... There was a thousand of our brethren who were slain, and we do justly ascribe it to the miraculous power of God because of their exceeding faith in that which they had been taught to believe, that there was a just God, and whosoever did not doubt that they should be preserved by his marvelous power. I mean, shades of the Janissaries, don't you think? Yeah. Funny, another connection to Islam. Oops. <laughs> 28. And now, it came to pass. Uh, yeah, I started off reading the Book of Islam, but it was just too boring to bother with. This is at least something worth reading. And now, 
it came to pass that after we had taken care of our wounded men and had buried our dead and also the dead of the Lamanites, there were many, behold, many. Okay. Behold, we did inquire of Gid concerning the prisoners whom they had started to go down to the land of Zarahemla with. 29. Now Gid was the chief captain of the band who was appointed to guard them down to the land. 30. And now these are the words which Gid <coughs> said unto me. Behold, we did not start to go down. to the land of Zarahemla with our prisoners. We did start to go down to the land of Zarahemla with our prisoners, and it came to pass that we did meet the spies of our armies. Nephite spies, who had been sent out to watch the camp of the Lamanites. These, smart, these spies must be pretty slick, huh? Let's see. 31. And they cried unto us, saying, Behold! The armies of the Lamanites are marching towards the city of Kumni. And behold, they will fall upon them, yay, and will destroy our people. These guys are slick, man. Stealth. 32. And it, hang on. Simpler times, Trader Joe's. It's cheap, too. Damn good. I'd rather drink this than it. Expensive bohemian shit. Nice. Whatever. Mm. Oh, that's right. I haven't drank that on video, I think. I had some at camping. Bohemian. Which was okay. 32. And it came to pass that our prisoners did hear their cries. Everybody heard their cries. They're still echoing. <laughs> that our prisoners did hear their cries, which caused them to take courage, and they did rise up in rebellion against us. Needless drama. 33. And it came to pass <coughs> just in time. <sighs> because of their rebellion, we did cause that our sword should come upon them. It was their fault. They made us do it. And it came to pass again in 33. Ah. That they did in a body run upon our swords. Yeah. yeah. In the witch and greater number of them were slain, and the remainder of them broke through and fled from us. 34. And behold, when they had fled, and we could not overtake them, we took our march with speed towards the city of Kunai, and bitch slapped those idiot spies. <coughs> I mean, it's their fault. I mean, thanks for the fucking information. Got some news for you guys. 
This is my boot. <laughs> it don't belong there, but it's going there. And behold, we did arrive in time that we might assist our brethren in preserving the city. 35. And behold, we are again delivered out of the hands of our enemies and blessed in the name of our God. For behold, it is he that has delivered us. Yea, that has done this great thing for us. I just forgot to mention it when it was happening. It seemed like they were pretty much doing it all by themselves. I mean, it's nice, you know. I mean, people get, you know, lucky breaks and shit. But, I mean, does that mean they got, you know, outside help all the time? Come on. Thirty-six, and it came to pass that I, Helaman, who's going to talk another chapter after this, had heard these words of Gid. I was filled with exceeding joy because of the goodness of God in preserving us, except for the ones that weren't preserved. You know, it was His will in those cases. <clears throat> that we might not all perish, just some. Yea, and I trust that the souls of them who have been slain, have been slain, have entered into the rest of their God. Anyway, that was uh, really silly. <laughs> Thanks for sharing it. <laughs> uh, Nice try. I mean, it's a little like Chronicles, a little bit. Anyway, if somebody, you know, gleaned some great insight from this that I missed, I hope you'll share it with me in a video response or a comments, which are all unfiltered, which is the way it ought to be, but often isn't. So anyway, I hope you learned something and let me know. I'll see you guys in, uh, guys. Man, we're almost out of Alma. We should celebrate. Peace. Fuck. Out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm having some simpler times. Bye. <laughs>